While Han Su and Chu Yipen were in the middle of an argument, Han Su's mother called via video and asked how to use the team wall. Han Su told her to look at the instruction manual, feeling overwhelmed, Han Su's emotions started to unravel. Chu Yipen quickly walked over, took the phone, and patiently explained to Han Su's mother how to use it. Standing on the balcony, Han Su listened to Chu Yipen patiently explain to her mother and began to cry sadly. Han Su came back inside from the balcony and saw Chu Yipen sealing a jar of pickled vegetables with plastic wrap. She apologized, saying, I'm sorry. Chu Yipen responded, It's okay, I'm sorry too. Han Su then said, I have a business trip to Shanghai for three days starting tomorrow. Chu Yipen replied, All right. He then took the jar of pickled bamboo shoots and placed it in the cabinet by the fire extinguisher in the hallway. Afterward, he changed the reminder on his phone for tomorrow's four-year anniversary to Tiramisu. Sun Han Han presented the ad she had designed overnight to the client, and it was well received. She called her leader, Xing, to report it her work and mentioned that she might not handle catching a flight overnight. Xing told her to rest for the night and fly back tomorrow. Sun Han Han then sent a WeChat message to Mr. Zhou, who had helped her at the airport, saying she wanted to treat him to a meal to thank him. Mr. Zhou agreed, and they made plans to have dinner together. Sun Han Han was very excited, but she wasn't satisfied with any of the dresses she currently had. So, she made a special trip to the mall and bought a tight, sexy dress. Han Su told Zheng Cheng that she had applied to go to Hong Kong. Zheng Cheng asked if she had told Chu Yipen yet, and Han Su replied, The application hasn't been approved yet, so I'll tell him when the time comes. Zheng Cheng then asked, Are you going to Hong Kong for that person? Han Su said, Sis, you know that I became determined to become a lawyer because of him. All of my efforts just for getting closer to him. Zheng Cheng then asked, What are you planning to do about Chu Yipen? I see you've grown so quickly and Chu Yipen has stayed in the same place. Han Su thought for a moment and decided to apply to her boss for time off to go home. She remembered that today was the four-year anniversary with Chu Yipen. By the time work ended, His Hainan received a text from Chu Yipen that simply said, There is light in the nightlife. Confused, she called Sun Han Han and asked, What does Chu Yipen mean? Last night he asked me to get Diramisu after work today, but now he just sends me this sentence. I don't get it. Sun Han Han replied, Whatever, don't ask him directly. This is part of the game. If you ask, it'll look like you're the one chasing him. Understand. Just as Chu Yipen was getting ready to invite his Hainan for Tiramisu, Han Su unexpectedly returned. Chu Yipen, surprised, said, Weren't you supposed to be on a business trip to Shanghai? Han Su smiled and replied, Today is our four-year anniversary, and I bought you a new computer as a gift. Feeling a bit guilty, Chu Yipen hugged her and said, Su Su, thank you. I thought we wouldn't celebrate this day anymore. I'm sorry, I didn't prepare anything for you. Han Su told him that making her a nice meal would be enough. However, Chu Yipen insisted on taking Han Su to the mall to buy the shoes she had been eyeing for a long time. When they reached the checkout, Chu Yipen received a call from home, and as he handed her his card, he learned that his father had been injured and needed money for treatment. Han Su quietly decided not to buy the shoes. When Chu Yipen asked why she didn't go through with it, Han Su simply said she didn't like them after all. In truth, she wanted those shoes very much. Sun Han Han dressed up in her new dress to meet Lawyer Zhou, and when he saw her, his eyes lit up with surprise. They walked together into the dining room, but as soon as they entered, Lawyer Zhou was immediately invited to sit at another table. Sun Han Han, feeling a bit disappointed, found herself seated at a different table. Feeling somewhat dejected, she passively accepted the WeChat friend requests from the men around her. His Hainan was at home, watching videos and eating cherries. As she smiled, she accidentally swallowed a cherry pit. This immediately reminded her of the first time she kissed Gao Peng, when he had swallowed a cherry pit too. She quickly called Gao Peng and said, I just swallowed a cherry pit, just like you did. Gao Peng replied, I'm not that foolish. He's Hainan retorted, Yes, you are. During our first kiss, 
you were eating cherries, and to avoid ruining the moment, you swallowed the pit. Gao Peng had forgotten about his time with His Hainan, which left her heartbroken and in tears. Realizing his mistake, he said, Baby, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have forgotten our sweet moments together. Sun Han Han returned to her room, feeling extremely disappointed. His Hainan felt that Gao Peng no longer loved her, so she sent him an email to break up. Sun Han Han returned from her business trip and went straight to His Hainan's house. His Hainan said she had good news and bad news to share. Sun Han Han urged her to tell her quickly. His Hainan said, the good news is that I'm completely single now, but the bad news is that Chu Yipen is missing. Sun Han Han asked, if it weren't for Chu Yipen, would you have been able to break up with Gao Peng so decisively? His Hainan replied, right now, what I want most is to have a fight with Gao Peng. After each argument with Gao Peng, he would send his Hainan luxury gifts. When she opened her closet, it filled with designer handbags that Gao Peng had given her, making Sun Han Han incredibly envious. At that moment, Gao Peng sent her a message asking, Baby, which one do you like? Just as his Hainan was feeling confused, a delivery arrived. Sun Han Han helped her open the box, revealing a trove of high-end gifts, including Tiffany jewelry and LV shoes. Sun Han Han exclaimed, Gao Peng's love is truly undeniable. If he didn't love you, how could he bear to spend so much money? However, He's Hainan, feeling frustrated, angrily threw everything out. Sun Han Han quickly moved the items back, but He's Hainan sat on the floor and began to cry, shouting, Who wants these things? He's Hainan decided to sell all the gifts Gao Peng had given her online. However, when she came across a bracelet, she couldn't help but cry. It reminded her of when Gao Peng's family was still struggling financially, he had saved up for half a semester just to buy it for her. Later, after his family received money from a demolition project, the gifts he gave her became more and more expensive. But only this bracelet held the true essence of his love for her. Sun Han Han helped her put on the bracelet and said, Nan Nan, no matter what, this is one thing you should never sell, okay? Chu Yipen was playing a game when Han Su called from the bathroom, asking him to help her get her pajamas. Just then, he noticed a message come in on Han Su's phone. Curious, he glanced at it and saw that it was from her boss, informing her that her application to go to Hong Kong had been approved. His Hainan received a message from Chu Yipen saying that the tiramisu they were supposed to have last week was still on his mind and wondered if they could reschedule. Sun Han Han remarked, isn't he just trying to tease you? Shortly after, Chu Yipen sent another message explaining, My dad got injured, and I rushed back home to help him arrange for surgery. Sun Han Han asked His Hainan, Are you going to see him? His Hainan replied, What do you think? Sun Han Han said, I don't know. His Hainan concluded, Then I'm not going. She turned around and listed the bracelet for an exorbitant price online. Sun Han Han exclaimed, that means you don't want to sell it. His Hainan replied, I want to show that I'm not cheap.